Hey everyone, a new cool and exciting feature has been added to Open Rollercoaster Tycoon 2 recently. Uh, it's a feature that was also in Rollercoaster Tycoon 3, so people who have played that game will probably uh, enjoy this feature. Uh, what I'm talking about here is ride simulation. So, uh, let's just start building a, a coaster here. So, we have a station now. You you probably notice this blue flag here right next to the demolition icon. So let's start building our chain lift. Now when we press this button you can actually see a, a white train spawned. And it will just, uh, just uh, drive through the track like it would when we would uh, test the train. But uh, it has some special properties, for example, well, um, you can see normally the train would crash here, but instead it will just respawn at the station. So yeah, like I said, this uh, this was also in Rollercoaster Tycoon 3, and it's really helpful for if you want to see whether your uh, train will make it through the track or not, or whether it will crash. For example, it will, uh, this, this uh, hill is too high. So now you can actually see it will valley in the track. Now if you want to respawn the train, obviously it will be stuck here for a while. You could either just remove some track to make it crash, or you can just press the flag to uh, despawn it. And then when you press it again, um, it will spawn again. Now this uh, simulation mode has some uh, limitations. For example, um, if, uh, if we make some uh, block breaks here, then, well, obviously the train will now stop here because it's, because it's is in block section mode. Uh, block section mode uh, cannot really handle uh, tracks that are not a complete circuit. So if we despawn the train, spawn it again, you will see an error message: the track is not a complete circuit. So if you have uh, block breaks in your track. Then simply, um, oh, the track's in continuous circuit block section mode right now. Just put it in continuous circuit mode. Oops, that's not the right button. I have to test it here. Then, using this blue flag, you can uh, simply put the track in simulation mode. So yeah, just remember that. In block, block section mode, uh, doesn't work with not complete circuits. Also, now, th now that the uh, track is in simulation mode, you can see the traffic light here is actually blue. Well, this is just the interface that I'm uh, using uh, right now. Um, normally there's a flag here, but I like the traffic light uh, user interface. You can actually uh, change that in the user interface settings. But yeah, if you use the flags, then you will actually see a blue flag right here indicate that it's, that it's in simulation mode. Alright, I hope that you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll enjoy the, this feature, and I'll see you again in the next video. See you later!